in this session let's learn about interval partition okay this is not a new partition type okay this is just an enhancement to the range partition in oracle 11g okay why enhancement there is a drawback to the range partition okay let's examine what that is okay this is the range partition which we have created okay all the values less than july are stored in this partition all the values less than august are stored in this partition and all the values less than september 1st are stored in this partition okay and all the values greater than the max values are stored in this partition you see you are saying apart from these partitions store the remaining data into this partition that means we are overburdening this partition right example we are storing 2016 data 2017 data like this as the data grows there will be lot of data in this partition right yes but what if we remove this we remove this entire statement partition sales p max values less than max value what happens if you try to insert any row with a order date greater than september 1 it will say inserted partition key does not map to any partition it will throw that error how do you avoid that one method is every month you keep on adding a partition but that's lot of work right every month you need to go and say okay let me add another partition to this table again coming month you need to go and add a partition right what if oracle itself creates the partition whenever it detects a new partition key it will be cool right yes exactly that is what it is okay whenever a new partition key is inserted into the sales table okay oracle will automatically create a new partition okay this type of partitioning is called interval partitioning all i have to do is specify my interval that means i have to specify interval and the num to ym interval 1 comma month that means create a new partition for each month of data we are loading okay here we have three partitions and once we insert the october data automatically oracle will create the partition okay now let's go and examine this okay this is the sales table so let me create five okay and let me take this out okay i'll take this out and i'll just show you the error okay so let me create the table sales five is created okay insert into sales five values 1 comma 12 jan 2015 100 and east so i insert okay you see one row inserted so this 12th jan will be inserted into this partition because this particular date is less than this date okay now let me insert october 12th october okay and let me run this you see we got an error it says inserted partition key does not map to any partition that means order date is 12th october 2050 and it checks the partition based upon the range it does not fit into any of these three partitions because what is the highest range value it is 2015 september 1st but our value is greater than that so it didn't find a partition right so now let me create this sales five table and convert this range partition into a interval range partition okay so now let me drop this table drop table okay and now let me clear it and say interval okay num to ym 
interval. So we want for every month, right? One comma and the frequency is month bracket clip and another bracket goes. That's it. We converted this partition from a range partition to range interval partition. Okay. Now let me create this table. Sales 5. Sales 5 is created. Okay. Let me show you how many partitions are there in this table. Okay. I will use a meta table called all tab partitions. Okay. So all tab partitions. And let me run that test all the tables. Let me look for the table sales 5. Okay. Sales 5. There are totally three partitions. Sales P1507, P1508 and P1509. Now let me insert this row into the table. Okay. It inserted. It didn't throw an error because Oracle automatically created a new partition once it did not find a partition to insert. Let's check that out. Okay. So let's go here and run. You see a partition sys underscore p255 with the range less than 2015 November is created. See, Oracle automatically did it for you. Okay? Cool, right? Okay? And based on my experience and in most of the environments, organizations create a interval range partition. Okay? So, whenever you are creating a partition, please keep interval partitioning in mind. You don't want to come every month and start creating the partitions. Let Oracle database take care for you. Okay?